construction sector has been hit hard quite clearly uh, and it appears that it'll be some time before output returns to anything like what it was earlier in the year. Uh, however, the sector's proved its resilience in the past and I'm confident we'll emerge from this in a different but potentially better place. We've seen that our industry, the construction industry, in particular the brick industry, has really, really closed down quite rightly while the pandemic's been going on. And whilst we've been seeing signs it's starting back up, it's been really challenging. Also, the economy is worrying me at the moment with what's going to go on. We're talking about a V or a U-shaped recession, or that we're going to come out and we're going to have a bump, and then we're going to come out and we're going to be positive. I don't think anybody knows. I think that when this is all over, maybe not immediately, but my feeling is that within sort of a year or so, we'll be in the biggest recession perhaps I've ever seen in my lifetime of living in the UK or literally in the world. Um, I think houses that are planned and that are being built now that have already been sold um, will continue to be built. But I think after that, the houses that haven't yet been ordered, haven't yet been built, I think they're the ones that we won't see. Main kind of concerns are what will house building sort of look like moving forward? Um, will people have the, the confidence, um, feel like they've got the job security? Will, will kind of lending, uh, will money be available for, to, to lend? Um, and what will the tax situation be? Um, you would guess that um, with the bailout that the government have done um, through the, the lockdown period, they're gonna have to recover that money at some stage and you assume that will be retaxed. So what does people's disposable income look like um, and how does that change the wider economy enabling them to, to afford to move house, to, to move up market or to actually get on the, on the ladder. Regardless if whoever you voted for, I think we're in really uncharted times. I think the furlough system that the government's brought in has been quite extraordinary given the circumstances. So uh, I don't want to make this a political thing, but I think that was a positive for the nation. Um, and so um, I think that's a good thing. And again, it will help with businesses, small, medium and larger um, in the future. Hopefully the government will sort of invest in the, the construction industry um, to, to drive sort of the, the, the economy. Obviously construction has a one to three multiplier effect in the uh, in the economy, so hopefully there'll be a drive to, to do affordable social housing. There's been a lot of talk for a while regarding the, the housing shortage and the need to build more homes. I think that's been around since for the entire millennia, um, but with very little action to, to deliver on that. Maybe this is the opportunity to, to kickstart sort of that and, and address the, uh, the actual housing shortage.